from here before, but I heard a lot of good things about it. So. Got a connection to the Potomac, Bay, everything. Bring the fish finder, it's in my car. It's okay. You're gonna show me this spot. It's in my Camry, is, the, is where the fish finder is. That's okay. You can go for a bass. Yeah. But there's a, a water treatment facility around the corner that people go to where like a lot of the fish are attracted to because of the warm water. So it's, it's nice for the winter, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, my friends do the tur tournaments here, the Potomac teams, yeah. but I've never launched my boat from here. I thought maybe I'll practice a little and then maybe join one of my friends. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, exactly. You got to find those spots. You got to find them first. That's like the number one. Large mouth? Uh huh? Uh, large mouth, yeah. There's some small mouth here, but they're more uh, on the upper Potomac near Great Falls and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. That's a good spot. You need to get back out here, man. Come back out. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so far, it's nice now with the sun. <laughs> she brought sweet chili dipping sauce for her freshly fried egg rolls. Man. Another five course meal here on the boat. <laughs> you want some, babe? I'm fine. I ate a lot. I ate pizza and I already had egg rolls and but you didn't have it with the sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might have to have one with the sauce, yeah. Wow. And missed two bass. She didn't give a good hex set, but hey, she's about to get one. She's gonna get the biggest of the day, probably. Me, I lost something huge, like a huge carp or a catfish. But, uh, it's okay. We'll come on back. Well, it looks like they're taking their bass bow back there. I might use the trolling motor and head back there soon if we don't catch anything right here. This is what I'm using, guys. It's the same rattle trap that I caught the three and a half pounder on the res the other day, last week with James. Dreadneck, subscribe to his channel. He's got some cool fishing videos. A few more casts out here. Oh, okay. 
we won't move till you till you're ready. I'm fine. I'm sure, there's fish here too. It's interesting fishing here. I love fishing new spots though. New spots to me, that is. So would you like another Cinco since that was working for you? Since you had two fish earlier? Sure. All right. I'm about to drop the anchor in once. Let's do like five, four, three, two, one. And now, Still drift us a little bit, and then that'll give us some room to cast under the docks. Yeah, but it's okay. The expensive ones are the ones that work, so that's why I get them. See, isn't that nice? Just adding another factor to concentrate on while fishing is driving. <laughs> It's shallow there on the banks. It looks like they're on land. It looks like that bass boat is on land. <laughs> I think they might be. Well, we're about to have an adventure with this one. I see some mansions though. That's pretty cool. Or is it? Our mansion is cool. Our mansion is cool. Okay. I kind of already like this spot though. I can tell that like, it would be good for fishing. Oh, had one. Oh, definitely just had one. It's like this bend just looks really good. <laughs> if we 
could just get one fish on the boat, it would be nice. Go, pull it hard, pull it hard, pull it hard, pull it hard, you got your bass! Woo, you got your bass! I'm gonna have to throw a Cinco, this is awesome. Oh, get him, get him, no, you got him, you got him. Don't lose him, Put, reel in, keep reeling, keep reeling the whole time, I'll get him. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is so awesome. My first bass ever, I can count this. Oh, your first bass? The one I can't doesn't look like this, so I They guess. didn't? Yeah, no, this is your first bass. Uh, <laughs> See? <laughs> That's a nice maybe pounder or so. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Even maybe more. Come on, hold it. Oh, you are awesome. Good job. How do I hold So, it? you see, you can put your thumb on the side of his tongue so that they don't move anymore. It kind of paralyzes them in a way. So hold him tight on, on his lip, okay? He has teeth, though, like a little bit, you know? So hold him tight. All righty? Nice. All right. So you got a smile, and then you can hold it the other way too. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Look up, and then we can screenshot it when on video. You know, like that. That would be our picture. Yay! Your first bass. Awesome. Just before you leave, how's that? Just before, yeah, we're yeah, we're gonna stay here, and I'm gonna throw a cinco. Woo! That's awesome. Yeah, uh, here I'll fix it. It's too funny that you say, let's just leave. And yeah. I'm, I'm rude enough to go. Yep. And I say, wait a minute, I got some. Yep. <laughs> and I think that was your that was your third of the day. You just, I the other know, ones you couldn't yeah. hook set, you know. Here, let me fix this. Watch this. That was so awesome. You had fun with that, right? You're fighting. Just remember, next time, they don't really stop reeling. Like fighting. Yeah, and yeah, that's why they're so fun to catch. They're like, okay. you know, they're monsters. They're like... They're the, the top of their food chain, basically. Well, besides snakeheads now. Besides snakeheads, since before snakeheads got introduced here, bass are the number one. They're on the top of the food chain, though. You know, like, they're the boss. They're the bully. So that's why it's the most fun catching them. But I learned now, so when you pat them, you actually just, just try reeling in, keep doing it. Okay, because I got pan and saying, why are you, like, struggling so much? <laughs> You'd catch something more than me, probably, today, using that Cinco? Yeah. I was saying that, remember? I was like, you'll catch it. Hey, you had more action than me, actually. You had um, you had two other bites earlier. You would have had three bass today, in total. Uh-oh. I messed up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't have to get the uh, paddle. Muddy. Oh, it's too muddy to push off. Oh no. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Let me think. Why is this not staying? All right. So she caught her bass on one of these, this is a six inch Gary Yamamoto. Um, the back says green pumpkin, but that's not, I just combined them. This is like black with blue flake or whatever. I don't know the actual name, but. She was getting bites though earlier on the green pumpkin uh, with red flake, but she caught that one bass on this one, which are my favorite, so they work. I hope you catch another one. You were having fun with that. <laughs> yeah, hold the line out of the way. Sure, it's nice 
you want it tight but not too tight otherwise the line will snap you know you want them to pull it a little see there's no pull there so I'm gonna loosen it left a little little looser let's see there you go like that there you go Trump. Got one. Good one. Uh, it's small, but actually it's okay. It's a nice bite. All right. Yeah, he slammed that. No, I got it on camera. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. small one but it's okay got one <laughs> Ooh. see you later bud bud I was trying to move the, the boat out of the mud and then he, he slammed it all right we both got one punch it Let's see how many ca tires we can count in 2018. <laughs> Let's do that, YouTube. <laughs> wow, look, look. You see everything it's so clear. I'm sure they're still here, always. Yeah, really clear. That's awesome. All right, it's definitely Cinco's here mm -hmm. for now. Yeah, this is a nice spot. This is a nice spot. I wish it was higher tide right now. So I can see that during low tide, it's not that great. So we'll have to check the tide table next time and come here in a more precise time. Careful though, it's really, really shallow back there. Uh. 